Mike Decord here with AWS Air Bars. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the impeller in this AWS fan. Step one, we're going to want to separate the fan housing down the center seam here. There's 12 5 16 bolts. First we got to uh, remove the flex hose or in this case the elbow from the fan outlet. Then we're going to remove the 12 5 16 bolts. There's one special bolt used on the rotary screen brush and two so slightly longer bolts used for the uh, lift hook here. I'm going to leave one bolt in here just for good measure while I remove the rest of them. With all the bolts removed, I'm going to slide this housing off and set it aside. This exposes our impeller. We're going to want to note the distance that the hub is on the shaft. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to remove the two quarter inch bolts, securing the taper lock bushing in place. We're going to take those bolts, we're going to thread them in the two threaded holes. And we're just going to snug those up and ever so gently alternating small turns. We're going to push that impeller off of that tapered bushing until it is free and we can slide it from the shaft. This impeller has only been used one year so there's not a lot of wear on it but you'll see that the fin gets narrower near the back where the heavy debris flows in. The blades will get thinner along the back side and then as the blade gets worn thin here it eventually will start to reduce the width of the blade. When that blade gets down to about 50% of its width it's time to replace this impeller. Your new AWS impeller will come with the bushing pre-assembled and it will be labeled 9 foot-pounds. That is the torque limit on these bolts. We don't want to exceed it. It is not a very high torque, but it will uh, retain its tension and be secure for years to come. A little bit of anti-seize on the shaft while leaving, ensuring that the tapered surface between the aluminum hub and the bushing is bone dry. We fit the impeller in place over the key. We slide the impeller onto the shaft, placing the hub at the same distance of which we took it off. Typically that's about eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch clearance at the back before tightening these two bolts. With the hub in position, we can run these bolts in by hand and just snug them up alternately using a, a socket extension or a nut driver in this case. Using a good quality torque wrench set to nine foot-pounds. We want to alternate tension on these two bolts taking small incremental turns until we reach nine foot-pounds. Over torquing these will cause this aluminum hub to split. Now that we've replaced the impeller, we're going to go ahead and stick on the outer fan housing. We 
remembering to use longer bolts for the rotary screen brush and the lift hook. You want to ensure that you install all the bolts first prior to tightening any of the hardware. Now that we've inserted all the bolts, we're going to go ahead and tighten them up. After securing the 12 516 bolts, we're going to put the elbow or flex hose, depending on the model, onto the fan outlet. Secure with a hose clamp. And that completes our impeller replacement.